Hi, this is John Hazlett for BestWindowsMobileApps.com with a review of Didium Pro, a program that streams audio content from your PC to your Windows mobile device. There are two versions of the software. There's a free version. The free version um, and the signing up for the account will allow you to stream up to five tracks from your library in what they are calling normal quality, which is 64 kbps or you can sign up for a premium account which is I think fairly priced uh, for a year at $9.99 or for $0.99 cents a month. The premium account allows you to unlimited access to your library and also has premium features like streaming quality of 128 kbps, access to playlists and the ability to download tracks from your computer to your phone over the air. What you're looking right here at at here is the desktop version. Um, we're going to use the premium version. Um, at the top here, you see you have a menu for monitored folders, which I don't have set up yet. Settings, frequently asked questions with a link to their website and to their email. And an about page that tells you about the developer and the program. So we're going to go back to monitored folders and I want to add my full music library so I'm clicking on add and I was previously checking in here so I'm gonna go back up to music right here and assuming if I click on music that I have access to all of my folders that will include my podcasts so I'm gonna say OK and click the radio button here like I said I'm not going to click on podcasts because I already have access to those supposedly through my music folder I don't have any audiobooks on my computer and if I did those would also be in my music folder at this point I'm going to close the program but it will be left running in the system tray and of course I have to remember to leave my computer on so that I can stream the audio content to my phone now let's take a look at the phone All right, so let's take a look at the app now loaded onto the mobile phone and installed. We have four buttons as you can see, search, browse, settings, and exit. So a number of ways here that you can uh, access your, or at least a couple ways you can access your music. I do have my computer set up by the way, my PC with the program running, ready to go. And I know my Wi-Fi is also all set to go. So, number of ways we can do a search here. Let's do artist. And I'll choose back. Hit search. I should mention too, I'm running this over my just the regular 3G uh, data plan. I did try this over Wi Fi, and maybe oddly enough, uh, I couldn't see much of a difference in uh, the speed. So we can choose stream, uh, um, excuse me, stream or tracks, and uh, the difference there is that if I hit stream, it'll just start playing from whatever the first song is. If I go to tracks, I can individually choose a track, and it'll start right there, and continue on from that point. So if we go to ePro, it should start playing. Oh, I can choose again, stream or download. So if I did not already have this on my phone, I could put it on here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stream. Here's of course what the interface looks like. And hopefully the song will load soon. Okay, pause that. Let's see if we can go to the next song. That took a little bit longer, almost five seconds to get to that song. Let's go back. Okay, this time we'll do browse. We'll browse for an artist. So here we have all of our artists from my computer. I've got some of my wife's stuff here too. 
And let's go down to try playing something else. Oh, I can only get to F from here, so next screen. It seems to load the list pretty quickly. And this time, well, I still haven't found the one I want. Here we go, let's see if we can listen to the mugs. And this time I'll just start streaming. And it'll start from probably, I would guess, the first track. Yep. Okay, and I believe that's streaming at 128 kilobytes per second, kbps. Let's check in our settings. Again, this is the premium software. And yeah, it is, we're set for 128. Here we can choose also 64 and 96. If we just had the pro version, remember it will run at 64. And you can listen to five songs that way. This also shows where we can download if we're choosing to download one of the songs, what uh, folder it's going to go to. And then kind of an interesting thing here, if I go to browse and say I want to go to a podcast. Now all my pod podcasts are stored in my music folder. However, for some reason, when I go to access that, you can see there's only three songs that are coming up. And the reason that uh, is happening is because these were ones that I stored as MP3s. The rest are stored in the iTunes, uh, I think it's called DRM Protected Format, or the M, let's see, is it M4P format on iTunes? And those will not stream using this program. So that's what the mobile part looks like.